Still guessing which compressor terminal is which? Don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to test a single-phase domestic compressor the right way, even if you don't have a wiring diagram. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Paradigm Cooling Channel, where we help HVACR pros and DIYers stay cool, smart, and in control. Step 1. Safety first. Before we begin, make sure the unit is unplugged and completely de-energized and use a properly rated multimeter. Step 2. Compressor Terminal Layout Basics Most domestic single-phase compressors have three terminals, arranged in a triangle under the terminal cover. These connect to the start winding, S, run winding, R, and common. But without a wiring diagram, how do you know which is which? Step 3. Identifying the terminals. Here's the trick. You can identify them using resistance measurements. 1. Set your multimeter to ohms, OM. Label the terminals A, B, and C. Measure resistance between all three pairs. 1. A to B. Here the reading is 59.2 ohms. 2. B to C. 79.5 ohms. 3. A to C. 21.4 ohms. The terminal pair with the highest resistance is between start and run. The lowest resistance is between common and run, and the middle value is common to start. With the terminals identified, let's move on to the electrical calculations. These confirm whether the compressor windings and internal protector are okay. Add the reading between the common and start winding to the reading between common and run. The total that you get should be equal to the resistance reading between the run and start winding. If these two values are equal, then the compressor windings are in good condition. Allow for a 5% discrepancy between the two readings. As you can see from our readings, the compressor being tested has passed this test. Now for the ground test. Set the multimeter to mega ohms or the highest ohms range. Test each terminal to the compressor body. Any continuity here is bad news it means the winding is shorted to ground. As you can see from our readings, each of the terminals shows an open line to ground, and therefore, the compressor has passed this test, and along with a positive test on the windings, we can confirm that this compressor is in a working condition. Now let's test a compressor that has been condemned due to it tripping the earth leakage circuit breaker of the main power supply. We will use the same series of tests to determine exactly what the compressor fault is. First, we will test the resistance of the compressor windings, and then follow that up with the insulation ground test. As we go through the resistance test on the windings, you will notice that there is an inconsistency with the readings. We are getting values of 6.3, 28.1, and 27.8 ohms, respectively. And that constitutes a failed test, as the first two values don't add up to make the third. Now let's run through the insulation ground test. As you can see here, we are getting a resistance reading between the body of the compressor and each of the windings. And that suggests that there is an insulation leak between the windings and the compressor body. This is the reason for the circuit breaker tripping during operation of the system and why the compressor was subsequently replaced. Let's quickly recap how to test a single phase compressor without a wiring diagram. 1. Identify terminals using resistance values. 2. Confirm winding continuity. 3. Test for ground faults. Completing these steps will allow you to diagnose potential faults on single-phase refrigeration compressors and implement action plans for the repair and maintenance of these systems. Thank you for watching. If this helped you troubleshoot like a pro, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Paradigm Cooling Channel for more HVACR how-tos. Got compressor questions? Drop them in the comments. We answer as many as we can. Until next time, stay cool and stay curious. Looking for the tools and equipment we used in this video? Check out the description below. We've included affiliate links to everything featured. Using these links helps support the channel at no extra cost to you.